guys welcome back to the channel welcome to the left path guide of summer of suffering gauntlet we are going to attempt adam warlock photon and then again mole man and infamous iron man now for this fight you have to bring in champions that have buffs on them because of the buffed up node so i am bringing in a venom i need two seven stars to go on this path so venom being one of my rank trees i brought him and i am really boosted here i am using a 20% health and attack along with a 15% attack boost and a 20% health boost so uh, that is worth it because the content this is a big one and you have good rewards also so uh, use, the, uh, use the boost to your advantage now first things first here do not interrupt Adam Warlock with a heavy attack at all during this fight because he will nullify all your buffs and gives you damage might even kill you off second thing always try to have a special attack ready because when Adam Warlock is going to throw a special attack, there is going to be a force that can cool down. Now, if you throw your special attack or you throw a heavy attack to Adam Warlock, the cooldown is finished and you apply a soul bob on Adam Warlock and he takes quite a bit of damage because of all the buffs he has. But if you're not able to throw a special within the four seconds, the soul bob is applied to you and you take damage. So it's a very touch and go and quick fight. It's not really difficult. You just have to take care on the timings of the specials. And keep Adam, War Adam Warlock to SP1 only. The fight is much more easier. Another thing you need to take care about is not to take hits in your block. Otherwise, he goes unblockable. And just keep letting him throw SP1s. And whenever you will gain a bar of power, you will be power locked for one second. So make sure that you time that right. So you can kill off Adam Warlock. Not really a difficult fight by the standards of Summer of Suffering. Next up is going to be a Photon. Now this fight is all about controlling your power. As soon as you go to zero bars of power, you are going to take damage with Langur and you will die. So the question is, how do you lose power? One, if you get to three bars of power, instantly you lose all your power because of the node. And also that triggers Langur at, uh, damage. Secondly, if you hit the opponent in her block twice, you get a Petrified debuff on you that helps you reduce your power. Now if you uh, hit too much in the block you can stack those petrify and you can get to zero power very very quickly so these are the two ways you can get to zero uh, uh, you can get to zero bars uh, bars of power and take long good damage apart from that you have to also look after photon and uh, her mechanics also with pure light form and unblock him and all of those shenanigans going on and if that wasn't enough if you use two special attacks within a given timer you are going to gain a degen because of strange fright and you're going to lose your health so all in all it's a lose lose fight so i would really say if you have a if you have a hercules just bring in hercules because he just makes a joke out of this fight so right here you will notice that i brought her down to 33 person and all i'm doing is to let photon use a special attack and when i have to or do uh, two more than two bars of power but less than three i just use my sp2s and uh, I keep throwing those over and over again. And that helps me take Photon down very quickly when she is stunned. I usually wait out the invis. If not, then I will throw a special within uh, her stun. So SP1. So I can do max amount of damage. So if you have a Hercules, that is the best option. Otherwise, other options I will have you given. But hey, bring in Hercules. So we got the quick fights out of the way. Now this one is going to be a slow fight. Now whenever you will plan for a path, I would say Mole Man is the first champion you need to think about because he is very annoying. Now the way he works is he takes damage only with Hubris Node. So any damage he takes during a special attack is multiplied and take, given back to Mole Man uh, with a big burst damage. So what you need to do is to bring in champions that have easy access to uh, damage over time effects because during the special attacks the only damage you're dealing with mole man is damage over time so the more damage you deal with damage over time effects the more uh, damage uh, mole man will take at the end of the special attack after uh, the hubris detonates now i'm using uh, venom here and all i'm trying to do is to apply enough debuff so i can activate mole man's frenzy once the frenzy is activated now it's my chance to just hit in the block and keep applying those bleeds and once I have enough bleeds, hopefully 3 to 4, 
I can wait for Venom to throw a special tag. Just there, he's throwing a special tag with three bleeds. He's taking all the damage, and all of the damage is accumulated and then detonated on Mole Man. So that is the name of the game. The hard part here is going to be uh, how to push Venom to your uh, uh, frenzy. So you have to bring in champions that have very easy access to all of these uh, uh, bleeds or any kind of debuffs. I'm also running Resonate Mastery, so weakness is also helping me. So right now the frenzy is deactivated, so any kind of bleeds or any kind of uh, debuffs I apply, it's not going to be helpful. So this phase is I have to play slow. I have to keep hitting Mole Man and uh, try to get him to 20 of those uh, Monster Mass so his... Uh, frenzy can be activated another thing you will notice there is a tranquility node so every 20 second both from the attacker and the defender all the debuffs are removed and uh, you have to you know play around it as well it's very annoying that once you activate the frenzy and you have three to four bleeds ready and active on mole man and uh, tranquility just kicks in no giving no power no uh, kind of uh, no kind of debuffs so you take all of that uh, uh, all of that is taken away from you and then you have to reset the fight kind of so that's a very annoying note so right here i'm just getting cornered waiting for a heavy attack and i start up my combo again three of those bleeds are there you should see you he will take some good damage from 42 percent to 34 so it's a really really slow fight now some of the best options for this are going to be your kate bishop she just destroys this fight because of her uh because of her too much damage on cold snap another good option is going to be iceman iceman can easily tank special threes and when you tank special three you activate frenzy on moon man so iceman is also a good option and all of his cold snaps do quite a lot of damage to moon man so he can probably nuke this fight but then make sure if you're gonna go that route you build your team according to that another great option for this fight is going to be your cha uh, your venom because he applies a lot of bleeds the only difficulty here is going to be that whenever there is a bar or there is a buff on you mole man is going to keep gaining power so that can be a little annoying to deal with but if you play around it and the rng is with you you can keep the uh, you can keep letting mole man throw those specials and you can play around it Another way you can deal with this is to use the 33% defense boost and don't worry if Moleman gets to an SP3, you won't take much damage on the specials. So yeah, those are some good champions that can be used and those are some of the options. Uh, this is probably going to be an annoying fight. If I were to be playing, I were to plan Gauntlet again, I would go one, uh, fi one path with Kushala because she is a tactic champion and build a team around her and I will go one path for non-tactic with Kate Bishop against Mole Man and be done with this because the Mole Man is the most annoying fight here and if you don't bring in the right counter it is going to take quite a bit to take Mole Man down so here we are he is down to 21% we are still slowly building up the frenzy and uh, keeping our damage up so we can take him out now some other interesting options that can work here uh, if you look at it there I don't think the saga options are the best options for this fight but they can still work um, so we are looking at the, when it comes to your non saga champions we are looking at Iceman we are looking at Hyperion with the SP1 spam Venom Archangel works amazingly well for this fight. You can also use Kate Bishop and Chill. Now, if you're gonna use Saga champions, they are a little tricky one because not many Saga champions are there to do this fight. So I've done this fight with Iron Heart, Omega, Red should also work. Kushala is amazing. Toad should work, in my opinion. Uh, Negasonic with her passive fury, uh, with her passive incinerate is a good option too. And I personally not tried Diablo, but <laughs> If I look at um, the way this fight's mechanics are, I think Diablo should work. You do not, you just build up your, try to build up to your special SP3 if you can quickly while he has Frenzy. And then throw that out, that will do some massive damage. But it all depends on the timing because Tranquility is going to be there. Now, I did die there, so I had to come back with Venom with uh, a 40% revive to finish him off. I think it took only 
one special attack and I was able to take him out. So yeah, so far so good, pretty happy with the run. I'm able to get the three fights down relatively quickly in about like 10 minutes. Now the final fight is going to be against a boss. Now I didn't have the perfect counter because I had to run Excel and large, champ uh, large champions only. Now the way this fight works is Iron Man Infamous is going to, uh, whenever he will use a special attack, there will be a timer started on you. And in that timer, you have to knock Infamous Iron Man down. If you don't knock him down, he is going to take half of your HP as damage. Look at the gray icon right now. I have to use a heavy attack. And I forgot about it in the beginning of the fight because I was too focused trying to do some damage. And look at my health bar go to 61 just like that. So, um, you can let iron man trigger sp1 or sp2 but the problem with sp1 is he activates aura of iron and when aura and aura of iron is activated you cannot knock iron man uh, iron man in famous down so if you can't knock him down you cannot dispel uh, that timer and if you can't dispel that timer you are going to take quite a lot of damage i went from 84 percent to 61 percent in one of those timer so the name of the game here is to keep pushing to iron man to an sp2 and after that you retaliate and uh, if he uh, throws a special attack you hold your block let him throw a heavy attack and with the heavy you can throw your heavy and that can help you counter that node again and again now it looks like there's a lot going on here in this fight actually it's not it's pretty simple to deal with i am struggling a little bit because i have to I had to do this fight with uh, a large and excel champions non -saga, uh, saga only because I was going for uh, three points so that's why it took me quite a bit of time I think it took me a couple of revives as well but if you're doing this uh, you're doing this fight I would say your best option is going to be Kate Bishop your silk will also be a good option so if you are going to plan uh, along with silk I would say uh, right path is the right one. You can literally destroy the whole path with Silk and uh, uh, with Silk and Kate Bishop. So there are few, quite a few champions that I've mentioned that can work in Infamous Iron Man. Uh, check it out on the side on the info. And I think I will die here. And I will have to come back with... So I tried to come back with Hercules. But the problem with Hercules is that... You have to play without any buffs because as soon as your champion goes above three buffs, for every buff that da your damage applied to the defender is reduced. And if you get to three or more buffs, you cannot do any kind of damage to infamous Iron Man. So that can be a, quite a bit annoying to deal with. So I brought in Hercules and I tried to nuke him down as quick as possible. Uh, the Furies were also helping me. And uh, I think I pushed him to an SP3. Uh, throw in my striker in the end and also again throw my special two again so i think i brought him down to seven percent because hercules uh, before hercules died so again guys make sure when you make your team you bring in a specific counter for iron man in famous who does not have that many buffs so uh, you can uh, try and take iron man famous out the other three fights are not really difficult if you bring in the right counter for mole man you should be good there so, for example, Sylph can easily take out Infamous Iron Man and he can also, she can also take out uh, Destroyer from the right path. So, that's somebody you can consider. You can use Hercules for Photon and Famous Iron Man. That could work. You can use the 33% special 3 attack boost um, from your inventory. That's, you know, we never use. Uh, but all of these can work out really well and then help you finish off this conflict. So, I hope you find this video helpful and... Uh, you are able to complete this gauntlet. If you're not, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to help you out. And if there's uh, anything else, any questions that you have, if you have just a different team, let me know down there and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.